What's up everybody, how you doing today? Geronimo, Geronimo Lifestyle. And this is a different twist with some Jeep stuff. The Jeep channel on Geronimo Lifestyle is live now. Another video for the Jeep channel. Check it out, it's gonna be good. If you saw the picture, oh yeah. Three, two, one. There it is guys, here is what we're doing. We're putting on open road. All right, here we go. We're going to unbox this thing. Pretty crazy unboxing this mode here, right here, right? <laughs> hey, you never know, right? All right, right off the bat, awesome sticker to put on the Jeep. Can't wait to do that. Some cool stuff. You got some uh, Welcome to Off-Road magazine and some of their instructional manual here to get everything done. Cool stuff here. Here we go. And then right here on the top, right off the top here, we have our cool little lunch which that's what I'm gonna do for now, but I'm sure I'll probably get a different one. A lot of people have been saying they're, it's okay, but we only have our little thing tag so we know that we're using the winch. Here is the grounding wire and the top of it so you can turn it on, I believe. I'm not sure, we'll see what the directions say. On this side, we have all our mounting screws and all that good stuff. And then we have the winch. So we have a hat that they gave me. We got the top of the winch here. This is our wire, our wired um, remote. Then we have two wireless remotes here as well. House of Barely Eat right here. Awesome, awesome. This is the cord for here. It looks like everything is already attached to where before things were not being attached. So let's see. It's going to be way easier to install. All right. So taking it out of the box, the reviews that I've seen, all of these leads were all not connected already. And this top piece here was separate, but they put it all together for me. And then this one goes here. All I have to do is connect this guy into there, attach this to the bumper, and then wire it. So all the wiring is already done. This is probably going to take me like 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to pull out the wire, I mean the, the rope, do it under tension, and that's it it's pretty cool all right let's get this thing on the bumper all right guys so i had purchased a um license plate holder that goes um on the fair lane because in connecticut we actually need to have our licenses plates in the front and back it's a law so i just purchased one of those from ebay real quick it was like a 15 dollar thing no big deal but i'm now putting on the fair lane. so this is what we're doing so we need both of these. We need a 5 8 um, socket and I'm not 100% sure, 5 16 um, for the uh, Allen wrench. So Allen here and then the back over here. You'll see this guy right here. And then that's what I'm just, I'm just tightening those up. And then once I get that, then we'll put the um, the wench on the um, bumper and then we'll get the wires up and into the um, engine and get all that stuff going. So let me finish up here. All right, the fair lady's in. Looks pretty good. Doesn't really bother the lights, the lights so which is good, which I'm happy about. And it's really functional. You can see and there you are for your, and then slide down. So I got it nice and tight in there. All right, let's work on the winch. 
So first things first, you gotta put these square bolt nuts inside here. So just like a little spot you see right there. You slide it in there, makes the hole right there, makes it so much easier. Put it on all four, and then next time I see you, it'll be putting it on the bumper. So it's just putting it right down there. That's pretty much it. There's just enough room for the wires, nothing really crazy. These are gonna get snaked. I'm gonna have these go under here, inside here, up into the engine. And that's it, I'm gonna secure this down from underneath. All right, now that we have that all done, I got that ready. I'm just gonna get these wires all the way up through there into that part. Fits just right, look at that. It looks really good from the beginning, from the front. Let me connect these and then see if it works. All right, she's all hooked up. Got everything all hooked up. Came through here, up in here, you can see it, up through here, and into the engine bay. So that's how I did that. Now I am going to unravel and um, get my remote here fixed. Hopefully it comes with a battery. And there it is. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is pull the hole all the way out and then use my body as to pull it in. So hopefully it'll work. We'll see what happens. Everybody, that's it my new open road 1300 pound wench is here I tightened it up a little bit probably have to do it again just to, did it by arm you know by my body weight probably better with a regular weight but we shall see at least now it's a little tighter and I'll be able to use it all right guys Geronimo Geronimo lifestyle hope you liked it See you soon on the Jeep channel. Peace. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching this episode on the Jeep channel. Right. Hopefully, you guys liked what you guys saw. We'll be putting some mods on, taking mods off, and just exploring and exploring and exploring. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.